Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're gonna do a fun and exciting video on the 32.3 windows. So, uh, anybody that has watched the channel or knows us or has seen us at a swap meet or has talked to me knows I've been hunting for a door, a driver's door for this car since the day I got it. Unfortunately, this car, when it was stored, some parts were um, misplaced and the car was missing a number of key items, which most of them I've tracked down but I have not been able to find a driver's door for this car and I've been pretty picky on trying to find an original door and one that is not super rotten and smashed up and lived under the ocean half its life. So, I luckily, uh, through persistence, found a door, but I had to buy two doors and a windshield frame. Um, but I basically found an ad on the Ford barn and I uh, was gonna buy a windshield frame from a gentleman and like I always do, when I was buying that 32 three window windshield frame, I said, hey, well, you know, long shot, do you happen to have a door? And he said, actually I do, but a friend's been, uh, you know, somebody I know had claimed to them and um, through some luck, that person passed on the doors, he sold them to me. He was nice enough to very, I was very specific on creating them, how to create them. He did all that and they finally arrived. Mike brought it back from the warehouse, we shipped the freight and we get to today put a door finally on this car and also open the crate. I haven't seen the crate yet. Hopefully it's not smashed or damaged. You might see me just cry on the camera if so. So we're gonna back uh, Mike's truck up to the door and uh, lift the crate out of here and open it up and see what it looks like. Hasn't traveled far off. Yeah. Watch well, on the bottom here. There's screws. <coughs> Pretty heavy. Oh, Future going back problems. Uh. All right. <laughs> Get the screw gun now. There is a lot of screws in it, so I hope we did. short-term memory and that would test it. Uh, Save these screws for my pallet building at the warehouse. Yeah, there you go. I've seen it on the three changes one time. Oh baby! She's a pretty door. That is a pretty door. Oh well, it's got both sets. Now, this bottom one's got both parts of the hinge on it. Yeah I think there's hinges in the box too with some extra hinges. Oh, nice. I mean, look at that foam on the top. I know, so, dude. That, that that dude hooked hooked it up. Well, I mean, I didn't I didn't talk him really down on the price. No, that he, usually helps. No, he did a very nice job, man. That is. All right. Oh, he nailed it. He nailed those in. I see. Yeah. So he said, take the sides off, then you can get to the screws to take the crate part off. Ah. Okay. So there's a lot of screws in the sides, like a lot. <laughs> Do you have torque spits? Uh, there's one upstairs. Well, depending on what size it is. You gotta buy like a Milwaukee screw bit. I had all that stuff. It's just we kind of put in like 9,000 screws and uh, it's true. We went oh, through. Oh, oh. Thank you, sir. <coughs> I think this is the <coughs> other half of the hinges. Oh, yeah, and you said there was a door latch. Wow. Oh, there's a pair of door latches in here. Oh, nice. Those are, uh, what's their Stick the tray just on the... Uh, <coughs> put it on there. I'll okay. some of that. There's the one hand piece. Slide it away. Oh, that. 
You missed a screw. I'm not done with this side. There's a lot of screws in there. I also didn't just drop all of them on the ground. That's for the cleaning crew. <coughs> yeah, there you go. <coughs> yes! Nice shit, they'll take care of that. That's for steel. <clears throat> Wait, is this the driver's side? It is the driver's yeah, side. Yeah, that's the one that doesn't have the name on it. This is just, is that just sitting there too? Oh, no, it's screwed down. Yeah. All right. This is the one. This is the. You got that side? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Let's walk this way. It's hard to believe a door that <coughs> nice that's like a hundred, close to a hundred years old. Yep. It's 90 years old. Yeah. Still got the matting. Yeah, it's still got the like sound deadening matting in it. It's crazy. Oh, and that's probably the hinge that was missing off. I know. Yeah, there's duct tape under the uh, I think this one has some rust on the inside. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I see it there. <clears throat> that the other one does not. So there's yeah, one little oh, awesome. chip in the center of it, and that's about it. Yeah, I need that. But the frame is like really nice. I mean, it's got a couple little dings, but nice. It's for night shift also. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> And we're now going to carry the most expensive door that we have. Uber. All these precarious things. <clears throat> and. Oh. Can't wait. You're going to be able to sleep real good tonight. I know. I haven't slept in, since I bought this car. I didn't have a door. <clears throat> and YRC didn't deliver for <clears throat> five a days. A week and just. Dick tease me. Yeah. Sitting in Lansdale, just waiting for you to pick them up. Yeah. But they didn't damage it, so I'm not angry. Yes. Gotta wait for delivery of our safety wire. Maybe. Is that another windshield frame in there? Yeah. Is that another three window windshield frame? Yeah. Wow. That was the really, really bad one. Oh, and there's extra garnish in there, too. Okay. Well, I can do that without hinges. That's why I had it. Just have the yeah. Fold it out. Here, do you want to tie this and then we can yep. get that? 
Hold on, hold on. Thing I'll tip tie if you can kind of pull it stuff together. Do you have a pair of lines in the pliers? Yeah. So I can really cinch this out. Yeah. And even that, it's probably going to sag a bunch. Probably the trick would be a ratchet strap. It's in. <clears throat> it's going to need a lot of work. It's in. <clears throat> Looks weird seeing the door on it. I know what the, fir I know what the first video is going to be. Does this door fit the opening? <laughs> Today we're going to use lots of hammers, border powers, straps, yep. torches, and every other tool in my wrecking device toolbox. Hey, at least one door fits nicely. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that really fits nicely. You never know. That one doesn't really fit that nicely either. Yeah. <clears throat> if 32s use the same screws, I got extras for my. Well, this car. is uh, this is high here. Yeah. And that's low there. Gotta come up a little bit. Yeah. But when you put the hinges in, it really wants to, what, go up. Yeah, yeah. So okay. it could be like the bottom hinges and bent. Hinges are tweaked. Yeah, and it's sending it. So I got to get the screws and get all three hinges bolted mm -hmm. in, and then the typical deal start seeing what you need to bend and yep. fight. But all right, so short and sweet video, but super exciting for me. Uh, anybody that is working on or building old Fords or even antique cars in general, there are some pieces that seem to be very very hard to find, and it's really confusing why there's so many. 32 to 34 three window bodies that are missing doors. You always, always see people on social media that are looking for doors and, and different forms and stuff and they almost never pop up. So super psyched I was able to buy these. Thank you to Tom for agreeing to sell these to me and also putting them on a pallet and doing the time and labor to get that crate made. It worked out fantastic. Uh, another great thing about this hobby, you know, I bought these doors and I didn't really know him and sent him a check and you know, and he built the crate for me and, and everything went really awesome. So um, really happy about that and psyched that I got a door. Now I also have a spare door for the next three window. I don't know. But um, I, one of those deals, I had to buy both doors because the only other door that I had found um, potentially was something that was all the way across the country and also was three quarters of what I paid for both the doors. So. Um, I'm going to keep the extra door. I was hemming back and forth. I know we'd get some messages uh, in this video. Uh, I am not selling the extra door. I'm going to hold on to that door because knowing my luck, I'd end up selling it and be back in the same situation and find a body missing a passenger door three, five, 20 years down the road at some point. I'm sure I can use it. So I'm going to hang the Eddie door up and, uh, and just keep it for extra. Now I got an extra set of garnish molding, door, dash, bunch of extra parts. Windshield frame, because now we have a nicer one on here. Um, so you never know, I might find a junky remnants of a three window and build another one. So super psyched to have this. Now we can start moving ahead on this car. I've been kind of like mothballing it because I didn't have a door. I couldn't really go much further. So probably shoot a video on making this door fit the car. Um, this door does not fit the car very well. We found that out very quickly. So we just have a wired in there, but it does not fit the hole. So this is kind of the thing when you find uh, these old cars that have been moved without bracing, without doors, and then you try and put body panels from another car on, usually does not fit at all. So we're going to have a big job with getting that to fit, get the doors to open and shut and latch, and all that stuff. Then finally we could start kind of getting back to hot rodding it, but we just got to do some restoration work to start off. So thank you guys for following along. Super happy day for me. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.